Chapter 4. Moving. The next morning, I didn't get out of my bed. Not even when mo Mother hollered, Time for breakfast! She came into my room. Didn't you hear me, Junie B? It's time to eat, she said. I looked up from my pillow. Yeah, only I'm not even hungry. Plus, I'm also moving today, I said. Mother smiled. She sat on my bed. You're moving, huh? She asked. And exactly where will you be going? I did my shoulders up and down. Somewhere, I said. Somewhere where? She asked. Somewhere not here. That's where, I said. Mother hugged me. This is still about Jim's birthday, isn't it? She said. You're still worried about not getting an invitation. No, I'm not, I said. On account I'm not, not even going to that school anymore. On account of I'm moving up today. Mother shook her head. Then she went out of my room and she and Daddy did whispering in the hall. Pretty soon, Daddy came in. He gave me a piggyback ride to the kitchen. Then Mother made my favorite hot cereal. And she let me have all the brown sugar I wanted. She sat down next to me. No, Junie B, Jim is only doing this to hurt your feelings, she said. He just wants to get a reaction from you, that's all. Sure he does, said Daddy. And when someone is trying to hurt your feelings, there's only one way to get back at them. You have to pretend you don't care, said Mother. You have to pretend you don't even want to go to that party. Because if you pretend you don't want to go, it will take all the fun out of it for him. Daddy winked. You think you could do that, can't you? He asked. You're the best little pretender in the entire world. Just then, my whole face lighted up. Because I, th the word just gave me a great idea. Hey, I just figured where I can move to. It's called It's a Small World After All, and it's at Disneyland. Remember that, Daddy? It's where all those puppets keep on singing that same song over and over and over again. I smiled. That would be a happy place to live, don't you think? Daddy looked at me for a real long time. Then he put his head down on the table and he started knocking it on the edge. Mother pulled him up from there. They went into the hall and did more whispering. After a while, Mother called to me from her bedroom. Junie B, could you pick up your the phone please? It's your grandfather. He wants to talk to you for a minute. I picked up the phone. Hello? Hello yourself, little girl, said my grandpa Frank Miller. What are you up to this morning? I'm moving today, I told him. Grandpa Miller sounded upset. Moving, he said. Oh no, you can't be moving. If he moves, then he won't be able to come to my house on Saturday. I crinkled up my eyebrows at him. Because this conversation smelled fishy, that's why. Yeah, only how come you want me to come to your house, I asked. And how come it has to be on Saturday? Because Saturday's the day I do my work around here, remember? He said. You're still my little helper, aren't you? I thought very careful. Yes, I said. On account of sometimes I help Grandpa fix stuff. It's called odd jobs, I think. Are you doing odd jobs? I asked him. Is that why you want me to come here? Sure, I'm doing odd jobs said my grandpa, but I can't do them without my little helper, can't I? You're the only one who wears the tool belt, aren't you? I smile very proud, because Grandpa Miller's tool belt is the bestest thing I love. It has a jillion tools hanging off that thing. It wraps around me two whole times, and I don't even cave in. Just then, Grandpa Miller made his voice real quiet. You haven't heard the best part yet, he whispered. Guess what I'm going to be fixing. I whispered back at him, what? Then Grandpa said for me to hang on a minute on account of he wanted to close his door or else my grandma might hear. If your grandma hears, then she'll want to be my helper instead of you, he said. I waited very patient. Ready? He said. Ready? I said. Okay, I'm going to be fixing the upstairs toilet. Just then my mouth came all the way open. Because fixing the upstairs toilet is a dream come true, that's why. Are you going to take the lid off, Grandpa? Are you going to keep flushing it and flushing it? Are you going to watch that all the water go out of that thing, I asked? Sure I am. Of course I am. That's half the fun of fixing a toilet, right, he said. Right, I said, very excited. Plus, also, I love that big ball that floats on top. Me too, says my Grandpa. 
I love that big ball too. And so I can count on you, can't I? You and I can have a date on Saturday, right? I thought some more. Yeah, only there's something I for you forgot, Grandpa. What's that? He asked. What did I forget, little girl? Raised my eyes about eyebrows at that silly head. You forgot that I'm moving today.